Hey guys, so I'm going to be doing a video on is a hamster the right pet for you? So basically the first thing with hamsters, um, she's going to try to like burrow her way out of here. No, 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 go back over there. So the first thing with hamsters is that they um, can be costly. So if you don't have the money to provide for a hamster every month, I would not recommend getting a hamster. So also hamsters can be quite noisy. Um, so if you are a, um, a light sleeper, um, there is other alternatives to this. Like you could get a silent wheel or you could get a um, flying saucer versus a wheel. Um, but hamsters definitely do make some sort of noise at night. And if you will not be able to de deal with that, then I would not recommend getting one. Also, hamsters do... Oops. Hamsters do need vets um, occasionally. It's recommended that you bring them once a year and... Um, if not once a year, that whenever they're sick, they go to the vet. And if you can't afford vets or if you don't have any near you or if you're not allowed to bring a small animal to the vet, then do not get a hamster. Also, um, Syrian hamsters are <laughs> solitary, so um, do not plan on getting two together. And dwarf hamsters can fight if put together. So if you want a pet that you can have two of, then you... A hamster might not be the right pet for you unless you're willing to do a lot of work to keep two. So hamsters are also, um, their, their cages, you have to have a big cage. So if you don't have enough space, I would not recommend getting a hamster. Um, and they also, like their cage has to be cleaned once a week. So you have to have a lot of like time and energy to provide for a hamster. And you have to be able, you have to know something about hamsters, you know, before you buy one. So that's definitely something to think about. Also, um, with the hamster, if you have other pets such as like dogs and cats or a pet that could harm your hamster, you should not get a hamster unless there is a way to prevent your larger animal from hurting them. Also, if you have, you know, like guinea pigs and other rodents, um, you shouldn't l keep them housed together you can introduce them to each other and let them play with each other but make sure they're the same gender like I have a guinea pig but he's a boy so if they like interact I have to put Cheerio in her hamster ball that way they won't you know he won't mount her or anything and cause her you know to get hurt by that um, so it's really important that you um, take precautions if you have other rodents or other small animals just don't put them together unless um, you're just going to let them meet each other, but make sure they're the same gender or have a hamster ball for your hamster or some way to protect them. Also, hamsters, um, some, some just don't like to be held. So if you're one of those people who really mainly wants a hamster just to hold it and play with it, I would recommend getting something different like a guinea pig or a rat because they are more social and hamsters are not very social. Um, typically, dwarfs are but they still are too, they're really hard to tame, and um, Syrians can be really grumpy, and they can also bite um, easily, and if a Syrian bites, it does not feel good. I got bit by my hamster um, like a couple of weeks ago, and it left a mark that I'll have forever on my finger because of it, um, but if they ever bite, it's always usually the human's fault because they either did something wrong or they um, invaded their space without warning them and you just if you stay out of your hamster's way they shouldn't bite you also um, sorry for the dark lighting here but that's my hamster back there um, if you don't have enough um, money to either make a big cage like this or buy one um, then you definitely don't want to get a hamster because if you're just planning on putting it in a critter trail for the rest of its life then it's not the right pet for you so, also, you have to be pretty responsible. Um, you don't have to be too responsible to keep a hamster because they are fairly low-maintenance pets, but you still have to be able to clean up their water daily or at least every other day and give them food daily. Um, so, yeah, that's all I can think of. So, I hope this helped you determine whether or not a hamster is the right pet for you. So, you, can re you guys should request more videos. Um, and please subscribe if you're watching this. Um, I make pet videos daily, and I have... I have a hamster, a guinea pig, I have horses, dogs, a lot of different pets. So yeah, thanks guys for watching. Bye.